Helen back here again. Um, it's been really nice to, to see all of the girls on the waitlist diaries and see how everyone's getting on and it's interesting to see we're all still doing weight loss after all these years. I cannot, I was just trying to think how long it's been since the weight loss diaries and I don't know. I, I think it must have been at least three years, maybe more, I don't know. Um, so it's really, really nice to see all of the girls back again and um, thank you Patty for allowing me to come on and um, and be a part of this again which is really exciting um, so I'm Helen if you don't know um, I think the last time we were doing the diaries I was I think I'll just like update you about my life <laughs> excuse the background behind me I'm, I'm gonna clean it up in a minute <laughs> but I just want to procrastinate and do this first um, so I I, as I said, I think last time we did it, I was um, living at home with my parents and working in a bank. I think, I think, I, I don't really remember. Um, but since then, I I uh, went to university, a local university. Uh, we're quite, I'm quite lucky to live in a university town, so I live with my mum and dad. Um, and I got a degree in finance and business. It was four years, so it must have been at least four years. I think. <laughs> um, isn't that crazy how time flies? My gosh. So I got a degree and um, alongside that I was working various jobs um, from telemarketing um, to um, uh, like just cashier work and eventually I got a job as an events coordinator at um, a local, I don't know what it is, like a event, places where they have concerts, whatever that thing is called, my brain's gone to a mush, I've had a child, this is what happens, so um, while I was at university, uh, in December 2010, I got engaged to a wonderful, wonderful man um, called Matt, and um, what can I say? He's lovely and that I'm very happy. Um, we had not been together long when we got engaged. Uh, I think not even a year. I think we just really clicked and um, it, that's just it really. So we got engaged and um, that was my final year of university. Uh, so a pretty crazy year, only to get crazier when I found out that I was pregnant in the February of 2011 uh, on Valentine's Day. So <laughs> happy Valentine's, we'll never forget that day. So um, I found out I was pregnant, I was in my final year of uni. This was quite a surprise, as you can well imagine. So I sat my final year exams, four months, pre four, five months pregnant, um, I had to deal with morning sickness and revising and <laughs> everything else that comes with the final year, dissertation, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I sat my exams in the May. Uh, I had my son in October 2011. His name is Oscar. Uh, it's Halloween baby. And he... He shows us that sometimes. He shows us his little <laughs> devilish side. He's an angel. He is. He is. He's lovely. Um, so I had him in October 2011, which means he's almost two. And um, I graduated 10 days later. He was 10 days old at my graduation ceremony. And I graduated with a 2 1, which is um, in the UK, like a first is the highest you can get, and you can get a 2 1, a 2 2, a 3, whatever. So I, I was happy. I was quite surprised, really, that I managed to graduate with a 2 1. Um, being pregnant and dealing with everything that was going on in my life so sorry a car just outside the window um, so uh, I we got a place um, in I think June so I must have sat my exams in May and had a place in June um, and 
we got it and we I didn't move in until September until a month before I had my baby I'd never lived with this guy <laughs> so this was this like interesting progression of a relationship I suppose um so because we had stuff to do in the house it needed um quite a lot of um renovation I suppose you could say so um yeah that that's where I am today my I I'm not working at the moment by choice um, well not really by choice I mean obviously if I were graduated uni I would be at work but um, it was my choice to stay home and look after my son while he's young so it's a different direction than I imagined my life to be in right now but um, an absolutely amazing amazing um, thing that's happened to me really he's the love of my life he's not here right now he's uh, at his nana's house which is why well, I've got five minutes to do a video because um, usually, well, you know what toddlers are like. Um, so that's basically what my life, what I've been doing with my life, really. Weight loss is just as colourful as my life, let me tell you, just as colourful. I've been up, I've been down, I've been up, I've been down. I'm probably the definition, essentially, of a yo-yo, really. Just put it next to my name. When was that? Yo-yo. <laughs> So, um, yeah, um, I can't, again, I can't really remember how much I weighed when I was doing the weight loss diaries, uh, but I put on, I just sort of gradually was putting on more and more weight, um, at university. Uh, I was kind of doing Weight Watchers for a bit and then not and then was and you know what it's like, just, I just couldn't get myself in a, a place where I was, um, steadily losing weight and and continually losing weight it might last for 10 weeks or five weeks I don't know and then I would just like oh like just give up um and then I just met a woman at my work who had just lost five stone which in pounds I don't know because in England we do stones well <laughs> I guess, um, let me just work this out, sorry, five stones is 70 pounds, so she'd lost 70 pounds um, doing a meal replacement diet, so of course I was like, mm, found what I'm going to do, I found what I'm going to do, and I did, and I lost, um, oh sorry, I lost about 85 pounds I think, uh, was the lowest I've ever been in my life, I was about 170 pounds, I mean, that's well, obviously I was that at some time, but not in my adult life, for sure. Um, so I was 170 pounds, and I was 50. Yeah, so I'm good. Um, but I put it all back on again. <laughs> That's the long and short of that. I I did not follow the steps of the plan to sort of gradually introduce stuff back into food. I just ate, and then. I went back to my old habits completely. I don't know what I thought was gonna happen, but mm -hmm. obviously, um, sorry. Obviously I put on loads of weight. Um, and then of course, pregnancy, baby. Uh, my son was incredibly difficult baby. And instead of losing the pregnancy, I just put on more weight <laughs> because it was just like takeaways and you know, just, rap really it was just survival mode while he was a baby because he was so difficult if he was awake he was crying and there was no stopping him he was just just gonna cry all day long so I was like just eating to be honest I couldn't I didn't care less about my weight or anything it was just like get through the day and then get to bed and be woken up about 15 times <laughs> start the next day again so yeah I put on weight um and uh, I've been breastfeeding him um for two almost two years so Again, I couldn't do anything too crazy um, or too restrictive. So I um, I just left it. And then recently I thought, no, I, I know how to lose weight. Um, I wish I could do it uh, by healthy eating. I wish I could, I just don't, I, it's hard, but I just can't do it. I take my hat off to those that can, but I can't. So, I will explain more about my diet and my program in 
another video. But essentially I'm doing um, meal replacement again. So I don't eat any food. I just drink milkshake, eat like pre like packaged porridge. Um, you can get chocolate bars, but I, I steer clear. It's a bit of a dangerous uh, place for me. If I've got like chocolate bars in the house, I'll probably just eat them all. Um, what else do I have? You can have soup, but I don't eat soup. So it's just basically milkshake and porridge is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> milkshake and porridge. Um, and I've lost... Mm, when I started, I was 291. And I'm now 230, I think. So I've lost 61 pounds. So that's all right. I've still got about ninety pounds to go until I'm a healthy weight, um, but that's where I am. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. So there we go. I should explain more about the whole what I'm doing and how it all works next week. But that's just a brief, not really brief, eleven minutes by me. Um, brief introduction, I guess, to what I've been up to and where I am with my weight loss. Um, and that's it. So it's lovely to see you all again and I will see you next week.